Santa Clarita's Hometown Station, AM 1220KHTS. Make sure you go to hometownstation.com for all the latest and greatest in the Santa Clarita Valley. And uh, it's, the, we, it's a home and garden heavy today, KHTS Home and Garden Show. Uh, I would like to start by saying this, though. Uh, my father, who is a great man, raised me to the man I am today. I am a contributing member to society. Uh, but there are a few things in this world that he hates more than gophers in his front lawn. And uh, I remember growing up just epic battles between gophers and my dad. And it seems that the, the gopher always gets the best of him. Always. And uh, to talk about that very thing is uh, uh, Paul Meisner. And he is with Gopher Hawk, which one is the coolest name ever in the history of, you know, uh, just the awesome name. That should be a mascot for a, like a college. Yeah, thank you. A gopher Hawk? <laughs> yeah. Gopher Hawk. Yeah. We figured it was apt because it's, uh, you know, the most effective thing at trapping gophers. Okay. So, as, so, uh, so you you and your father, you were telling me during the break that, that you and your father went through the same thing that my father did. And sure. still to this day, by the way, my dad is just, they just. Growing up, it was always a battle. Uh, you know, it was always the weekend task was to eliminate the gophers and to get in there and get as many of them as you could and get them out and not have them come back. But it was always a hassle. It was a lot of work. Oh, it yeah. was a lot of effort, a lot of digging. And, you know, you're always dirty and messy and full of dirt. So we started to look at uh, other ways of getting rid of the gophers that would be more effective and uh, a lot cleaner. And my, so my dad has tried the hose in the, in the ground. Sure. Uh, he's gotten the smoke bombs. He, uh, he, uh, he just finds stuff online. He's done, he's done the poison stuff. Uh, yeah. But they still, I don't know if it just scares them and they come back and just ruin his lawn again. We've tried it all. A lot of times it just ends up driving them off to the point where they're just in someone else's lawn and then they come back when you're not looking. Yeah, and I think it's uh, like it's funny. It reminds me, you know, Caddyshack. It's right. just like, just that's bit. my dad. It's, it's just like I, f I feel like the, the gopher's just down there when my dad puts the hose down there. It's just bathing. It's sure. like, oh, finally, gosh. You get man. to the point you want to use explosives. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly. A, <laughs> exactly. Uh, right. But this, you said you guys invented this, right? You and your it's dad. A completely new product. Uh, okay. It's unlike anything that's available so far. Oh, that's. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It uh, would give you everything okay. you need all in the one box. Okay. So it eliminates the need for a shovel. Oh, it's, that's awesome. Uh, clean and totally organic. Yeah, because uh, sometimes there's those those traps that you have to dig a giant hole. Sure. And then put them down there. But this yeah. eliminates that. Yeah, we eliminate that by supplying you with the one tool, which is a wedge and a probe combined. So <laughs> on the inside, you have a probe, okay. which actually allows you to find the gopher tunnel. And then after that, oh. you use the wedge, which is more of an auger tool, and it makes a perfectly cylindrical hole from the surface all the way down to the gopher tunnel. So you don't end up digging up a big bunch of dirt, and you don't do more damage than the gophers already did yeah. already. <laughs> so at that point, you take your trap, which is very cylindrical, okay. goes from the surface and sits above ground most of the time, and it's a snare system that sits into the gopher tunnel and at that point uh, the gopher can approach it from either direction and it doesn't even really affect their or impede their travel so once the gopher comes along they get in depress the trigger it snaps shut and it's uh you know clean and and uh, instantaneous more or less and totally humane wow so at that point you have a catch indicator lets you know it's gone off there's no guessing whether your trap's gone off you don't have to dig up the ground again to check that you see it from a long way off you pull the whole thing out of the ground and then you just dump the gopher that easily you never have to touch the gopher you never have to touch the dirt and it's uh you know no poison no bait totally organic wow so it's a it's a pretty effective product being used throughout the state so far yeah and um yeah, it's uh, people have been very happy. They trap them within an hour a lot of times. Wow. So you know, generally it takes a little longer than that, maybe overnight. But yeah. uh, it's a it's really easy to set too. So not a lot of hassle. Gopher Hawk is uh, Gopher Hawk. one. It should be a ma again. It should be a mascot. Of, and let's do that again. Yeah. yeah. So we do it, and then and he snaps. Oh, there it is. Oh man. And then right. again, and then you it's just, just that easy to dump. There you go. Wherever you leave it. So you can, you can find it, and they have videos. If you go to gopherhawk.com, they can show you how to do it, and you can you can get some there. You're also going to be at the KHS yeah, Home and Garden Show. Home and Garden Show here in Santa Clarita. So yeah. that's going to be a good outlet for us. Uh, they're also available through amazon.com, so you can purchase them there. But uh, the home show, you'll be able to come and see exactly how they work, interact with us a little bit. We can talk to you about them. And uh Give you a real good uh, one-two demo. Cool. So. And you guys are, you guys not only did you invent it, but you manufactured it as well. Right. Yeah, we are the manufacturer. We did everything from R&D to uh, development of the product and, uh, you know, all the 3D design. Uh, we have injection molders. It's all made in the United States. 
uh, all actually in California. Uh, we have spring makers, injection molders, extruders that all give their product, their, uh, you know, supply the parts to us, and then we produce and manufacture everything in-house. How did you? So, uh, how many prototypes did you go through before you got this one? Oh, it was a few years in development. Was it? So it started as a much larger cylinder, and then we started to make it smaller so that it'd be easier to place and set. And uh, we finally came up with a, a final product that cool. is uh, incredibly effective and uh, really easy to use. Awesome! All yeah, right. Well, goforhawk.com. Thanks, Paul, for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. And uh, we will take a break and more after this. AM twelve twenty KHS.